Sometimes I hear people telling me things like um, elites have always controlled societies or countries always conquer other countries or uh, human beings have always been shit. And I think uh, the mistake that people often do in this is that they universalize very, very quickly, too quickly. They universalize things. They see a couple of things in different times in history and then they draw quick conclusions about how things have always been. Uh, but I think we should differentiate at least three different human times in which people and societies were completely different. Hunter-gatherers, agricultural societies, and capitalist societies. In each of these societies, everything is very, very different. Um, the way you live, the way you conceive of yourself, your relationship with uh, other human beings, your relationship to religion. For instance, uh, let's take hunter-gatherers. You live in an extended family. Uh, you're nomadic. You share everything that you catch. You see um, nature as imbued with spirits. You are very um, cunning and aware of the natural world and the different things that happen in the natural world. Uh, you're connected very much to every sign that uh, animals make. Agricultural societies, you live in a giant hierarchy from kings to peasants. You are immobile. You do whatever function that society tells you to do. You might be a carpenter, you might be a priest, you might be a, um, um, a person who writes, you might be a peasant, you might be a blacksmith, you might be an untouchable who cleans latrines. You do a certain function in society within the hierarchy. Capitalist society, you are you see yourself as an individual. You are competing with other individuals. You're not really related to plants or agriculture. You usually live in big cities. You, um, you spend your time within markets or preparing for markets, the, either the work market or the consumer market. You have different values like uh, utilitarianism. Uh, sometimes you're secular. So these are some of the differences uh, between these three different societies, but they go very, very deep. They go in how we feel the world, how we consider it. Um, and we shouldn't simply generalize over these societies, these radically different societies. It also means that our own society is not universal, is not a universal law. It means that we can have a society that is fundamentally different from the society with different values and different ways of being human.